Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody. My name is Kem and today we're gonna talk about Filipino superstitious beliefs or we call it as pamahiin. And these stuff are passed on from generation to generation through oral or written traditions by our ancestors. Usually it's when our grandma tells us to stop doing something because a bad thing might occur if you still continue to do it. It depends on us if we believe on them or not. So the first thing that's on my list is taking a picture with an odd number of people in it. And they say that the person in the middle is more likely gonna die earlier than the people at the side. When I was younger, I used to believe this. I was really, really scared to take picture in the middle because obviously oblivion. So I find ways to stay at the side and just take pictures. And you're like, no, you're na, you're na, you're na. I'm, I'm good here at the side. Thank you. Because I was really, really scared to die. But when I got older, I stopped growing and I was really the shortest one. So I had to stay in the middle to make people notice me in photos. So ever since then, I stopped believing that staying in the middle in the photo might kill you because obviously there's no scientific reason that you're gonna die because you are in the middle of the photo. So yeah, you know when you're eating in a dinner table and suddenly your fork falls down and someone's like, Ano ang nahulog? Kuchara tenedor! And you're like, Tenedor? And you're like, Hala! May babae tayo! Bisita ngayon! Sige, sige! Maghanda na kayo! And you just wait and wait. And no visitor is arriving. But that's what they say. If your fork falls down, that means you have a female visitor. Or your spoon falls down, that means you have a male visitor. And you usually get so excited, hyped up, but at the end of the day, you realize it isn't true. Because obviously, what's the connection of your fork and spoon with people? But there are some people who believe that. And I see the amusement when they're excited for a visitor, pero umaasa na pala sila. But anyways, so the third thing here is, whenever you bite your tongue, that means someone is talking about you. This is one of the superstitious beliefs that I personally believe. One of the reasons why is because it already happened through experience. I remember one time I was talking about my classmate and the next day he was complaining that he bit his tongue. So I was like, you bit your tongue? Oh my gosh, I talked about you. And then obviously I freaked out because I was like, oh my gosh, it is true. But ever since then, nothing really happened. I still think about that whenever I bite my tongue. I'm like, oh my gosh, someone thinks about me. And your friend is like, look, talaga, big a number. Uh, then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J, sino J? Joshua, si Joshua, si Joshua. But obviously it's not true because who's Joshua? I still do that. I still ask, big a number whenever someone bites it down because it's fun. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. And the next thing that I believe is when you think that you have a visitor, throw salt. I remember when we were in the province and the dogs were howling like crazy outside the house. And my mom was like, oh no, she got salt and threw it outside. And the dogs magically stopped barking. I was like, oh my gosh. Ever since then, I always believed that whenever you throw salt, your visitors will go away. And some people believe that whenever you put your salt outside your house, it could keep them away. So either way, salt, salt probably could keep the visitors away. And that's what I believe. How about you? I remember when we were inside a very small room, it was so compact. I wanted to pee, but the door was way over there and I had to pass through other people and I find it kind of bastos to walk in front of people. So I was like, I opened the window, stuck my leg outside, and my grandma was like, Hui, psst, psst, come back, come back, what are you doing? I was like, um, I'm gonna go out and pee. And she was like, no, no, you will make tanan if you go outside the window. And I was like, um, no. And then I still went out the window and she made yao yao. But either way, I don't think that I'm gonna elope. I will never choose to elope because I am not the type of person who goes madly in love and disobeys my parents. But still, I will, that, that's so ridiculous. Like, what scientific reason would make you go out through the window and elope? Probably she had some cousins that had happened to them. But for me, I don't think that's so weird. Like, Hello, I cannot just go out the window and I will go grow up to a low. Like, what? So here is also something that my grandma gets mad at me for. Because here in our house, here where I usually live, 
my grandma here doesn't get mad at me whenever I cut my nails at night. So me being used to it, when we got to the province, I cut my nails at night because obviously I forget during the day. And my grandma's like, wait, psst, psst, what are you doing? Why are you cutting your nails at night? And I was like, um, because it is long. And she was like, no, no, you cannot cut your nails at night. You will let your mama die. I was like, no, I don't want that to happen, obviously. Obviously, that I don't want that to happen. But I still cut my nails though. I asked my dad, why? Does that happen? And there, my dad was like, I don't even know. So I don't see also another scientific reason or a logical reason on how is that gonna happen. But I hope that doesn't do any connections with my mom because obviously I really love my mom. But I don't see the connection of that. I really cut my nails at night. And obviously nothing happened and I don't want anything to happen. And so praying. There's another belief that I know it's not true but I still believe. There is this one movie, this one Filipino horror movie that made me scared of this superstitious belief and it's getting married with your sibling in the same year. They say that if two siblings or maybe three or four but when two siblings for example get married in the same year, the one would live a happy life and the other one will be cursed. And of course, me, I'm like scared because of that movie because of course there were ghosts and everything. I was like, no. I told my sister and we made a pact not get married in the same year because of that movie of course that was scary of course i'm scared of horror movies who loves horror movies i'm sorry i don't but still for safety measures i would never get married in the same year as my sister just in case just a little safety precaution so the next thing here is another thing that i know that's not true but i do it Probably sometimes because I have no time to do it whenever we go to a burial and stuff like that. And it's called Pag Pag. And then there was another movie about this that scared the shit out of me. I don't know how because ABS keeps on showing this after Halloween or during Halloween. And I'm like, no. And yeah, I watched Pag Pag and I was scared. So whenever we go from home, go home from burial, I try to ask my mom to bring me somewhere usually we don't have time to go anywhere so we go home directly but as far as i'm concerned nothing happened but just for safety precautions we should do that the last thing here is a person born with a mole near their mouth or their lips is very talkative and honestly i believe this one because i have a mole on my mouth on my mouth here on top of my mouth and i believe that i am very very talkative my teacher always gets mad at me for being too talkative and i see why i don't know if you have some friends that have a mole on their lip or their mouth that are very talkative but if you do comment down below we'll talk about it so that's what i have for all of you guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my socials are down in the description box and comment down whatever you want to say whatever you want to say whatever you want to say okay bye love y'all